Yo, hello everyone. In this tutorial on how to use Yoast SEO for WordPress. Yoast SEO is a powerful plugin that can help you improve your website search engine optimization. In this video, we will show you how to install and use Yoast SEO, including how to op optimize your content, create XML site maps, and more. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, first of all guys, I will show you how to get a WordPress account launched. So the first thing, launch your browser and then go to the URL section. Go here and search for WordPress. So here we go and launch the browser. Go to this website and then click on here to get a WordPress account. Here you might find don't install it yourself or set up with the hosting provider. You can get download WordPress 6.2 from here and install it by your own or see our recommended host so you can have a provider. So these are the two ways to actually have your WordPress. And from here, this is from WordPress.org. For WordPress.com, which is this one, let me just go here. You can create your account directly on WordPress. Let me just change the language real quick from this section. So it's going to be English. Here we go. And simply now to create an account, all you have to do is click on get started. And then fill this information with your email address, username and a password. Or you can continue with Google or an Apple account. Either way, you will have a free account for the beginning. You can upgrade that account so you can have access to plugins and a custom domain name and much more by choosing one of these plans in front of you. So mainly they have like around four plans that are the main ones and two extra plans which are like basic. Not basic but they are like a side. So one of them is the free one and the other one is the enterprise. The free has limited access and it is of course for free you don't have a lot of things to do with it but you c it can do the work it will create the website for you and you can like make a simple blog in it for the enterprise one it will cost you a lot about 25k a year and you will have unlimited access to bunch of features that you won't have in the normal kind of plans and aside that, you will have four main plans, which are the personal for nine dollars per month. You will have everything in the free plus version. So you will have here beside like free domain, you will have ad free experience, externally fast DNS with SSL and support via email. For the premium one, you will have premium themes and with word ads and style customization. Here you will have for the business one, so many things, of course, everything that has passed, you will have it inside of business. So the same thing that you have in personal, you'll have it in premium. That stuff that you find in premium, will have them in business plus some extra stuff. So here we are finding install plugin in Teams. So you, will, you won't have it actually in those two. Uh, unrestricted bandwidth, global edge caching, high burst capacity, web application firewall, uh, like bunch of features that are so much good for a website. And finally here for the commerce one, you will have the same things that you have in the business, but plus some extra stuff from sell and ship products, store customization, inventory management, user checkout experience, payments in 60 plus countries, sales reports, and some other extra stuff. So beside that, you can have either free and enterprise one. And in case you would like to go for the long term with WordPress, you feel like you are going to stay with WordPress for a long time, go for the annual plans because they are much more cheaper. Imagine here, for example, if we tried calculator here and we tried to actually uh, spend 45. So here we go. Sorry, uh, 45. Uh, if we did it in uh, 12, it will be around 540. And otherwise, if we try it by month and you try to pay around 70 per month, it will be around that. So you are going to actually save around the half of it. So it is like 300 uh, that you are going to save, which is so much uh, like money that you are going to save. 
I really hope you guys to go for the actual annual plan in case you would like to have the like the websites for long term. And otherwise, for this video, guys, specifically, we are going to use my localhost. So my localhost is basically a WordPress website that is on my PC, not online. So no one can actually see it. I have the localhost uh, WordPress version because I can use all the premium uh, features in it to show you how to do everything that you have to do without having any problems with like paying or f like having free plan, etc. So basically, in case you'd like to have it, you can just go to your localhost and slash the WordPress slash WP login dot PHP and this is for user one, two, three, and you will be logged in into your dashboard. It is as simple as that, guys. So now let's keep up with the tutorial. So right after you open the dashboard, guys, all you gotta do is go to the plugin section, which is over here, as I showed you in the beginning how to do that in the actual normal wordpress uh, dashboard this is the same thing guys the same logic so you guys just have to go to plugins click on add new so this is the first thing now there is two options to actually add this plugin the first one which is by adding the plugin by uploading it so you can just choose a file from your pc it can be for example here we go for example you can go here and you can just search for it in your browser and then you can just download it it is as simple as that of course there is some pricing that you can check it for example here you can get it for a hundred bucks per year and you will have all the unlimited kind of uh, features that they have of course you can try the free version as well and as you can see it has been downloaded just right after i clicked on free version available which is here as you can see now let's go back here and try to add it so choose a file then let's go to download choose the wordpress seo and then install now it is as simple as that now this is the first method on how to actually install it the second method is simply by clicking on add new once more so let's go to add new and then searching it for uh, using keywords. So here I'm going to search for Yoast SEO. Then click on enter. And voila, as you can see, it is over here. So just go to Yoast SEO, click on activate or install if you don't have it installed. Then activate it. Now it is has been added successfully. Make sure that it is Add it so go to this active section on your plugins and then search for it so i think it's gonna be somewhere over here as you can see it is the last one now click on it on your menu use seo and simply now you'll find here all the categories all the options that you can uh, actually change and here continue you can here add your site presentation and make some social profiles personal preferences and finish configuration so you have to go through this first and then right after that you just have to go to any of your posts or pages for example this one we can go to hello world and from here you will find your seo opens right uh, front of you here if it was good they will show you everything that is good so analysis needs improvement as you can see here um you can generate for you some stuff here you can preview as a mobile result or desktop results here an example on how it's gonna look like in your actual uh, in the actual search engine which is for example google this is how the website is gonna look like the article and here how you have to add some key phrases and they are all as, as i said before premium so you'll have to add the premium version and they will generate every key phrases every tag everything that you might need to actually have your search engine optimized in your website but overall, that's how you can add the Yoast SEO to your WordPress website. So I'd like you guys to leave a comment about this video. Uh, how do you find it? If there is any problems, make sure to leave them down below. And see you guys in the next tutorial.